Okay friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, the electron flow in oxygenic photosynthesis which is also called the Z scheme of photosynthesis. Now here what we can see uh, that uh, the photosystem of uh, this oxygenic photosynthetic organisms uh, like cyanobacteria for example uh, are having two different photosystems. One is photosystem 2, another one is the photosystem 1. Now photosystem 2 uh, is excited by 680 nanometer wavelength of light and photosystem 1 can be excited with 700 nanometer wavelength of light. Now photosystem 2, sorry, photosystem 2 is actually placed at the starting of this reaction and photosystem 1 is placed at the second position. Now the name of photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 is happen after the discovery. That's why the name comes like photosystem 2 is uh, first place, photosystem 1 is in the second place. So light hit the photosystem 2 and photosystem 2 drag the electrons. It, it gets excited but it do not have electron on its own. It needs the electron donor. Now the electron donor uh, in this photosystem 2 is water. Let me take a color. Now this is the water. Water molecule will be bro broken down into oxygen plus hydrogen and it will give two electrons to photosystem 2 which is P680 complex. Now the electron they receives then they will get in the excited state of pH six P680 complex excited state then from this excited state the electron will, will be moved from pheophytin now pheophytin stands there it will receive the electron and then from the pheophytin it will move to quinones the quinone 1, quinone, quinone A, quinone B then finally to quinone pool and through this quinone pool it will move up to the cytochrome BF complex now cytochrome BF complex is also embedded in the membrane Quinone on the other hand is a mobile carrier so let me change the color these are the mobile carriers uh, P680 complex is also embedded so this is also embedded system on the other hand here uh, from this cytochrome BF complex the electron must be carried out by another mobile carrier and here phytochrome C is that mobile carrier now again phytochrome C will drag the electron from cytochrome BF complex and it will bring it to photosystem 1 which is also embedded. Now photosystem 1 here will take the electron and gets excited and it also needs the presence of light because light gives the sufficient energy to, to get excited. Now this light will give the sufficient photo photon energy or quanta of energy that can help this P70 to bring to the to, to get to the excited state. Now uh, when it reaches the excited state from this P700 excited complex the electron will be passed to chlorophyll A0 then to again quinone then from the quinone to iron sulfur cluster then feridoxin then few then flavoprotein and then finally to it will reduce the NAD plus to NADH okay now uh, this is the step as you can see this type of photosynthesis can be proceed via two different styles one is uh, the non-cyclic process another one is the cyclic process okay now in non cyclic process what will happen electron generated from uh, here photosystem to p p680 it will move here then it will uh, be carried by all this electron carriers like pheophytin then quinone pool then cytochrome bf then plastoquinone uh, here this is pc pc means the plastoquinone here in this case okay uh, plastocyanin sorry plastocyanin then finally from plastocyanin to p700 complex and from the P700 complex it can be excited then from chlorophyll A0 then quinone then iron sulfur then feridoxin then flavoprotein and then it can reduce the NAD plus it do not needs to uh, shuffle this electron back uh, to the system for this place so it could be a linear uh, uh, chain of photosynthesis it could be a linear chain or in other hand it could be cyclic too now if it becomes cyclic what will happen the electron that are carried out uh, to this feridoxin complex the feridoxin will leave the electron and this electron will come back to cytochrome BF complex in between them now this will create a link between the photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 activity and that can connect all this and as a result we can call it cyclic photosynthesis process Okay, so again, all of these processes of electron transfer for, for to, from photosystem two to photosystem one, uh, whether via uh, the cyclic process or via the non-cyclic process, is bring about uh, due to or uh, obeying the rule of reduction potential. 
so again complexes which are present having a uh, negative value of reduction potential means uh, they can donate electrons very easily they are eager to donate electrons on the other hand the complexes that are present at below this table that means having a positive value of reduction potential can have a tendency to accept the electrons very easily okay so this is the scheme of donating all these things now let's come uh, let us come to the part of memorizing all these stuffs because it is important to memorize this scheme how you can memorize the scheme actually there is no need for memorizing that but if you want to i can tell you the systematics of memorizing now here from p680 it is excited no a problem about that from the p680 the scheme of flow of electron is always remember uh, there would be a stable electron acceptor or embedded electron acceptor right after the embedded electron acceptor there will be a mobile electron acceptor this is the scheme in all the kind of electron transfer whether in photosynthesis or in the electron flow during the photo uh, during the uh, respiration process we, we 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 are going to see in our future videos now here we can know that embedded systems are p680 p700 these are the embedded system cytochrome bf is the embedded system these are the embedded system pheophytin is also an embedded system all the others like quinones and cytochrome c or plastocyanins these are not the embedded system these are the mobile carriers okay so first for system 680 excited state then to pheophytin from the pheophytin right after the embedded one we need a mobile carrier to transfer the electron from one place to another place because there is some distance between two embedded uh, electron carriers now the distance is covered by this quinones so quinone will take the electron from pheophytin bring it to cytochrome bf complex then again from this bf complex we are having another transfer molecule which is plastocyanin it can drag on to this electron and back it to photosystem 1 which is p700 then again p700 gets excited and then to chlorophyll a from the chlorophyll a again quinone is needed because this is the mobile carrier of electron then quinone will take it to iron sulfur protein which is embedded then from the iron sulfur we must give it to the ferridoxin now ferridoxin again and flavo flavo proteins all uh, all of them are embedded and from this flavo protein uh, nad can come and can be reduced because flavo protein can donate the electron to nadh and it can reduce the nadp into nadph okay so this is the scheme involving two different system photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 in the photosystem 2 scheme we are having pheophytin quinone bf and plastocyanin on the other hand in the photosystem 1 we are having chlorophyll a quinone iron sulfur and flavo proteins so the scheme is chlorophyll iron sulfur flavo protein quinone is always in in the middle to carry the electrons on the other hand in case of photosystem 2 we are having pheophytin cytochrome bf and plastocyanin and quinone sort transferring the electrons so these are the scheme if you want to print it in your mind you can do this but th don't try to mug up because this is a general scheme you you must know how the electrons are actually getting transferred from the less neg uh, or negative value of reduction potential towards the molecule having positive value of the reduction potential okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you